Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, we are trying this brand new As Seen On Television product. Introducing Nutri Chopper, the compact handheld speed slicer that cuts up to 10 times quicker than a knife. Long time coming for this one. A lot of you guys have asked me for it and I finally got my hands on one. They finally brought them to Walmart. <laughs> so here we are trying them out. But I got questions already before we even open the product. Listen, this thing is $19.99. To me, that was a pretty good deal because who does not want to chop shit up quick? Everybody wants that. The infomercial, the guy would like into the ball in seconds. One handing it. Is that a bad thing to say? <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad thing to say, but you know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't even doing this on some of the stuff. He was just like showing off. <coughs> Chopping shit up into this little cup. And for the infomercial, you guys, they went all out. I think they got a, <laughs> I think they got Paula Deen's sister to appear. Does that not look like Paula Deen? It does to me. Slice right into the pot. Tell me if that doesn't look like Paula Deen. 100% it does. And if it's not her sister, they got a great look alike because I did a double take. I'm like, Paula Deen? <laughs> what are you doing chopping up stuff with this Nutri Chopper? Just real quick. I purchased this at Walmart for $19.99 on their website, $19.99, but you get the second one for a fee. The fee is usually about five bucks. That's what I've seen in the hundreds of things I've tried and the thousands of commercials that I've watched. Normally, the second item or the second free thing that they're giving you that you have to pay shipping and handling for, that is usually like five, six, seven ninety nine. With this one, the separate fee is literally just buying another one. <laughs> That's not that great of a deal to me. Not only that, this little Tupperware thing that you see right there, it looks really big in this picture. I think it's like that big. That's what it looked like to me in the infomercial. You know where they keep baby food? Comes with a perfect portion container and fresh keeping lid so you can slice it, seal it, and store it all in one. <laughs> when he's closing it, he's like, click, click. I need it to be big. I need to hold my hands like that. Mm, close that shit up. Not fucking delicate with fucking two little fingers. Cause that to me is like that big. Like this, a tiny little cube. And for 19.99, I need a big Tupperware, not this baby one. But back to the website, they'll sell you the little Tupperwares too. Like in the infomercial where they had them all stacked in the refrigerator. The store it all in one. The problem with that is the Tupperware is costing you more than this motherfucker right here. I said it. If you went and splurged on this thing, right? You got this one, then you got the second one. Then you went ahead and bought the extra little Tupperware. That's about $60. Don't be a sucker now. This is not bad for $19.99, but I don't know about eight little cups for 20 bucks. Go to the dollar store, it's gonna cost you $8. $1 each, and sometimes for those little ones, you can get four for a dollar. So you could get eight for $2. Y'all gotta go shopping with me. I'm gonna teach y'all how to shop because no sir. We're gonna get the actual chopper, three blades. You're going to get, <laughs> A lid and the Tupperware. That didn't count. That's one piece. <laughs> you can't count the lid to the container as a separate thing. So that to me is one. And then it says a holding insert bottom piece. That doesn't count either. That's just part of the unit. I don't, these are just my opinions. I'm almost at professional consultant level for these products. So I'm just gonna say that doesn't count. Now inside the manual, they're giving you instructions on how to assemble it and the different configurations of the blades, depending on what you need to cut, squeeze and chop. See, that's why there's no instructions because literally squeeze and chop. You can thin slice. Chop thin slices. Thick slice, we all like thick. <laughs> Chop thick slices. Thick is in. Thick is in. So listen, don't be thin slicing. We want thick. We all love thick. <laughs> right? 2019 hashtag <laughs> thick. <laughs> in thickness and in health. <laughs> That's what my husband says. 
and you can wedge. Wedge whole fruits and vegetables in just one second. And cube. Chop cubes. And in the infomercial, the guy that's chopping, he's like, oh, you could chop a whole onion. With Nutri Chopper, you can slice the entire onion. The problem is his onion was this big. <laughs> and here's my onion. Look at this. I'm going to try to chop this whole thing because in that infomercial, he said chop a whole onion. This is a whole onion, sir. That was not onion. <laughs> that was garlic. This is an onion. Thick. This. Kiwis. Nothing in the size of a kiwi counts as an onion. Sorry about it. They went and got the smallest little ass onion. Come on now. Okay. Close your eyes. Ready? One, two, three, go. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, listen, when I bought this, I was like, $19.99, that's not bad. Because I used to have the one, <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know. But you guys remember the one, that, the chopping one, that's like, chick, 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 chick. Do you remember that one? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Do y'all speak Vivianism? You know, you slap it with the slapper. Remember you slapped it on top and then it cut like, Pico, that's all you could do. <laughs> I snorted again. That's a really bad habit I've picked up recently. But I'm not cutting it out. If you love me, you have to love my snorts. I don't know what that one was called. If you remember, just put it in the comments so I don't sound crazy. But all you could do with that product, it was cool, but it was just for like Pico and shit. You really couldn't cut anything else with that. Look at the picture. We're gonna compare to this miniature sized shit that I just pulled out of this box. <laughs> what is this? You guys. <laughs> Here's one of the blades. Here's my onion. You can chop a whole onion with that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Here's the Tupperware. I'm telling you, don't buy this little Tupperware stuff. Am I missing a blade? Doesn't it look giant in that picture? Okay, there's a little lock button in the front. Lock it to store it safely in a drawer. It looks kind of small, but once you open it up like that, cheap as hell. Plastic. I like that it has a lock button though, because you can just put it in the drawer and not cut your fingers off later. Read all instructions thoroughly prior to use. Done. Let's take the sticker off. I do like how they've designed the handle. It feels really nice. You think I can one hand it? In the infomercial, they were talking about speed cutting or slow cutting or something. Like that's a cheesy ass line. Let people cut however the fuck they want to cut. Uh oh, there you go. Slow slicing fruits, veggies. I guess there's two blades in here right now. Here's one. I'm supposed to get three blades. Okay. So there's three. So one of these is our thick thin, and then the wedges. Here's the part that pissed me off right here. What is this? I should have brought the ones from the dollar store. Let me go grab one. Here they are, my Tupperwares from Dollar Tree. This one here, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than this one. It's a lot bigger, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Realistically, you could probably get more stuff in this one anyway, because unless you're feeding babies, that's not an adult size serving in my opinion. The hell you're putting in this little ass thing? Nothing. So I'd rather have this one anyway. And these I think are two for a dollar or four for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So go get you some of these because eight of these for $20, absolutely not. I'm not buying them. See, I even got these. They're kind of a wacky shape. But same thing, I think I paid a dollar for these. So, which one do you want? Look how giant that looks in that picture. Right? They need to put that little disclaimer, dramatization. Objects appear larger than they appear on that box. That's the kind of disclaimer you need to put. You're also gonna get the snap-on lid. They sell these also at the dollar store. Just FYI, I'm giving you guys tips. But go ahead, if you wanna buy it for 20 bucks for eight of these, <laughs> send me a check for a thousand dollars and I'm gonna send you 50 of these from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> That's a great deal. <laughs> the Nutri Chopper with a thin slice, thick slice, wedge and cube blades. Wait. I think I'm missing one. <laughs> Pump the brakes. 
because I'm not playing today. I'm not, look at my, when I have a bun on, we mean business, okay? And if you look at the front, do y'all notice anything? Look closely before you answer. What do you see? <laughs> I'm missing a fucking blade. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, your call mm -hmm. cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Listen, motherfucker. Recording. Send me my blade. Right now. Send an Uber. Bring me my blade. <laughs> I don't care if you have to call an Uber to send it over here. I need a blade before I finish this video, okay? I don't care. Bye. If you haven't noticed, I'm going to give you a hint. I'm missing a damn blade. <laughs> that wasn't a hint. That was actually exactly what's going on here, but I'm missing a blade. The Nutri Chopper with a thin slice, thick slice, wedge, and cube blades. From what I can see, there's four blades in this picture. Is that what you see? I'm Puerto Rican. I might be in misinterpreting this. <laughs> English is my second language, fool, but I believe pictures are universal. And <laughs> I believe this thing says you're gonna get the thin slicing blade. Got you, boo. The thick slicing blade. Got you, boo. The wedge blade. Got you, boo. And then a fourth that says it is a cubed blade. I don't got you, boo. You better send that Uber over here to bring me my damn last blade. Because they did give me this, but there's no, you forgot the fucking blade. What happened? <laughs> Somebody did not assemble my last blade. I'm looking in here making sure I'm not talking shit and it's still attached, but it isn't. That's not cool. The one blade missing and the size of this little ass thing, it's not worth $19.99 to me. It's worth about $9.99. You see, that's what happens when we dramatize stuff <laughs> on the thing. What? Hold on a second. I'm doing my due diligence here by reading the instructions again, looking at all the beautiful colorful pictures again. And look what I just noticed, even though he was doing this in the infomercial, how to use it. They're saying you should use it with two hands, never use it one-handed. Ding, 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 ding. Never do that. Wasn't the whole idea of showing the chef doing it so that I could see that it's so easy that I could do it with one hand. Into the ball in seconds. But now in here you're telling me don't do that. But I'm gonna do it because I'm a motherfucking professional. Y'all don't do it at home because y'all could get hurt. But y'all need to go ahead and cut that 30 seconds out of that commercial because you gave me ideas. Now I gotta try them. You guys can't touch it, obviously, because you're at home and I'm in my studio. Listen to the amazing sounds of this fabulous plastic. Sound expensive? I mean, that says it all. Okay, we're gonna start off with the egg. And with the egg, I'm going to wedge it. All you're gonna do is snap this guy in here. See, so it's easy to use and then go to town. Like I said, in case you missed it, pay attention. There's a little lock button here, which I do love that little feature there. And then you just pop it up like that. We're just gonna place my egg in here like that. This should not be hard, super easy. I'm just gonna one hand it, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go. Ew, they fell apart. <laughs> but let's see. Were you paying attention? That was kind of fast. Okay, that was super easy and I was trying to rinse it off, but I noticed that there is still a big old chunk of egg right there. Do you guys see it? <laughs> That's annoying. I could not take it out. So here, let me try to pull it out with my knife. I think it's designed like this because of the blades, but food might get stuck in there, just like my egg just did. Clean, simply rinse or rack it in the dishwasher. I bet that they're gonna tell me that I make my own cube. Let me see if in the picture it looks like. So in the picture, if you look like this, <laughs> I don't know anybody shopping that is going like this. What is that? What is that saying? <laughs> because in the picture, they are attached like this to make the cubed one. You see how they kind of clip on like that together? Then you can make 
the cubes. And what you should have done is put three blades and then told people that you can configure them like a transformer to make different ones. I think that people might misunderstand and think that they're getting four blades. I misunderstood and I do this for a living. An amateur, a rookie may not understand what the hell you're doing there. To put this guy in, first you're gonna put on the bottom piece like that and then this one because you see these little hooks on the side that's what snaps into place to hold the blades okay there's one two see it there on the side now i want to cube some cheese because i'm going to have a cheese party and i want my cheese to be cubed now this cheese is super soft because it has literally been sitting in this hot studio for about 45 minutes while I got ready, but that's okay. It'll be nice and soft for our demonstrations. That's not gonna fit. That's gonna fit perfectly in there. Let's see what cubed looks like. I'm gonna do it with two hands. I think one hand I'm not gonna get all the way through. Okay, what does it look like? Okay but it's stuck. Is this? Oh, there it came out clean. Let's see, let's see, what did we get? How cute are my cubed pieces of cheese? This is why I thought it was pretty good for $19 because you do chop stuff fast. There is another as seen on television product that was like this, <laughs> that it was just like a little Tupperware, it was just a long one, and then you just pushed it down. My brother loves that thing. That's what it reminded me of whenever I saw this one. So I thought, hey, we could chop shit up real quick. But I am gonna say it did pretty good with my cheese. Now let's try the zucchini because in the infomercial they say we can make little sticks. Now I feel like the guy at Sam's, right? They're like, look at how finely chopped that is, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna get a free gift on today only after you buy this chopper for $89.99, three easy flex payments, right? And we're gonna throw in this knife. I'm really working on my pitch because I'm gonna be a pitch woman. For this one, I'm just gonna cut it in half and then cut the end like that. So I'm gonna put it in like this. Should I cut it in half again? See, that makes me nervous. I'm gonna cut it in half again. That's not very long sticks, but we'll give it a try. That's kind of crooked, isn't it? Or do we want to do it? No, I want to do it long ways like they did in the infomercial. Just julienne, or you can bundle slice julienne sticks at lightning speed. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. I can't. Look at that. I can't. They kind of went all over the place, but I did get sticks. That was not easy. That was actually hard. I mean, I really had to push. There's no way I was gonna one hand that one. If you have wrist or hand or muscle problems or a broken finger, <laughs> I don't know about being able to use this, ladies and gentlemen. We still have some free knife sets available if you make your purchase right now. Right now, call in 1-800, I want a free knife. <laughs> Let's do it one more time, this time with one hand and I'm gonna show you guys, it's impossible. Impossible, ready? One, two, three, go. Where are my fingers? Okay, oh my God. I can't, look. Uh, no straight. <laughs> I gotta work out. We're gonna have to pick up that gym membership for sure, okay? Maybe this hand's stronger, ready? Uh, <laughs> you can't it can't be done i like them like this listen i don't totally hate it there are a couple of things that concern me about it but if you got upper body strength like this look at that you might be able to use it <laughs> let's do some sweet potatoes now i could have done this beforehand but listen i was in a hurry today that's why my fucking bun is like <laughs> lopsided <laughs> Y'all don't care, you're family. Don't talk shit, don't judge me in the comments because send me a picture of what you look like right now. I bet you ain't looking that cute. So sometimes I'm gonna be lopsided. I'm just a girl filming shit in her room that I call a studio. <laughs> 
Listen, don't be fooled by the fancy lights. I'm just like you. <laughs> no pants. <laughs> no pants and all. I am wearing pants or shorts. Calm down. <laughs> this is hard as well. See, look. Even a knife takes two hands. So the chances of this working, the zucchini was soft compared to this. So the chances of this happening, slim to none. I'm going to have to call my lover into the room to help me. There's no way. The razor sharp interchangeable stainless steel blades you need. Ooh, <laughs> I may have a hernia <laughs> at the end of this video if I keep going. Oh, but this is what's gonna happen with your damn vegetables get stuck. Okay, I'm gonna cut it in half again. Maybe I'll cut it like this in half. You think this will help? Probably not. Okay, like that, look. That's a decent size. Listen, if I have to cut it any more than this, I don't need your product. I'm scared. I'm not only scared about the blades and like hurting myself, I'm scared about pinching myself with the side here because you're pushing down so hard <laughs> that I'm scared like, what if my finger gets stuck in there like this, right? I think that scares me too. Okay, wait, it feels like it's moving, but no. Uh-uh. You see, it kind of went through, but not really. And then what do you do if you have to take it out? None of this is smart, but this is what I gotta do. You see, I'm not gonna say that this is for anything harder than a zucchini. Now I just have the thick slicer. So this is gonna be sweet potato chips. Let's see if this cuts. Ready? One, two, three, go. No. Oh. Unfortunately, we're gonna say just cut your own damn sweet potatoes. If I have to cut them any more than this, you guys, it's not worth it. I might as well just cut it. Look, they get stuck. Let's see. You see? Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, got it out. Too much work already. Too much damn work. Let's try attaching this little thing to it. So no, the one from the dollar store is not gonna attach, but that's okay. It won't attach, but it'll catch. Look at that, I got a jingle. <laughs> okay, snap that into place. Oh, this does look cute, but not for the price. And this time I wanna slice thin. Put that piece in there. Wait, here's another fucking design flaw that I see. These don't clip on together. These need to snap because they just fall off. So if I'm trying to do something, they just, no. So then this one in, this one, snap it. Okay, the idea is cute. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's cute with the little thing they're attached, but unless you're like pureeing baby food, not so much. So let's try it with some kiwi. I'm just gonna cut the ends off. Kiwis are super soft, so I should be able to do this one with ease, right? Is that what they say in the infomercial? You can have one slice or 10 perfect slices at once. Look in the clear container, ready? One, two, three, go. What just happened? <gasps> Is it because the skin, it can't handle skin? <laughs> If you have to do too much peeling yourself, you're not gonna wanna do it. You might as well just keep peeling with your knife. You see what I'm saying? If I have to do this, I don't eat kiwis. I'm actually allergic to kiwis. Um, so I don't know if I'm peeling it right. I'm just saying if I'm doing all this, I might as well just slice it, right? Put our delicious fruit inside. I don't know. I feel like kiwis are too soft. I don't know how to take that off, okay? Let's see what we got here. We're not getting awards for beautiful plating of fruit with this kind of chop, but I guess it sliced them. I don't know why they have to make these slits in here, but fruit gets stuck in there. It's a pain, look at that. I don't like these little slits. Not this many. I understand that you need some for the blades, but food just gets stuck in there. And if you don't get like a little brush or something, you're not going to be able to get that out of there. Clean, simply rinse or rack it in the dishwasher. That's going to be a pain if you let something dry up in there. Let's try a piece of watermelon. Am I just doing it too slow? Do I need to speed it up? I wanted this to work because I was going to make beautiful trays for my catering company, but 
I can't. It's not looking that cute. I want it to be beautiful. Okay, cucumber is fine. Let's do some mushrooms. The mushrooms, I'm gonna do a thick cut mushroom, not a thin. Chop thick slices. This should be a one-hander, ready? One, two, three, go. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice, thick cut mushrooms. Now let's try a thin cut mushroom. See, it can't be any harder than I think a mushroom. One hand. Okay, no. Thin cut, thick cut. What do you think? Now let's cube up some of these peppers just like they have on the box and in the infomercial. You see what I'm saying? If I keep cutting it down, you see? You might as well just keep cutting. Okay, this should give us cubes. Ready? One, two, three, go. Even for one hand, look. It's gonna have to be two hands. I feel like it snaps so hard that food is flying everywhere. They're fine. And maybe that's why they made this. Let's try another piece in here to see what happens. Two, three, go. Okay, see, that's how that other one works. Let's try to cube a mushroom. See, if you do it like this, just on the table, I think it's easier. See, fast. Okay. Let's do the onion. The onion's a big deal. Just for fun, let's see. I don't care how strong you think you are. Never gonna happen, never. I believe the infomercial, unless I'm losing my damn mind, I could have swore they said an entire onion can be sliced with this. With Nutri-Chopper, you can slice the entire onion. I don't even think cutting it in half is gonna work. Let's see like that. We'll try. No. No, <laughs> there's no way. You just have to jiggle it out and then cut it in half. Never gonna cut through that. Like this will not fit. So we're gonna have to cut it in half once more. And that was an average size onion. Don't even tell me that I have a gigantic onion. That's not true. There you go. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. You see? No. Look amount of onions and never have time for tears. Snap it off of here. That's how they do it, Sam. They, they hit it real hard. And then they go like this. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I'm gonna say, okay, here's another piece. See, if things are really small, then I'm gonna say yes but not everything they said in that infomercial. Mm -mm. My salsa again. I have a lot of gadgets for salsa. I would use it for something like this. Onions, peppers, jalapenos, shit like that. Sweet potatoes and potatoes, not so much. Do not go anything harder than a zucchini, in my opinion. So the last thing we'll try is slicing an apple. Once again, cut your apple. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put it in there like that. Okay, now let's try thick sliced apples. Lay your apple in. Oh my God, look at that. But it won't go. What happened? Look. You can wedge it all in one snap. Oh, <laughs> here is the thick sliced apple. Here is the thin sliced apple. It's all right. I just think it's a lot of work for a small amount of food and it's not for everything. From everything I've seen today, everything I've felt, tried, tested, I'm gonna say it's a little overpriced. It needs to be no more than 15 bucks, $14.99, even lower, $9.99. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Nutri-Chopper two Vivian heads. Question time. Do you still have and use the bamboo pillows? 100% yes. I still love them. I still use them every single night. As a matter of fact, I went to Marshall's and I found the king size bamboo pillow. Now, a lot of you guys were asking me about the bamboo pillows 
on Amazon. Listen, the one that I got were a specific brand. I believe they're called the Mighty Bamboo Pillow. They do sell different brands of bamboo pillows on Amazon. I haven't tried those, but I did buy the king size one. I found it at Marshall's on clearance. Now I have a total of four of them. That's how much I love it. But yes, I still have it. I still use it. I simply love your videos. You are a riot. Aw. But I do have to ask, do you get demonetized for using your colorful language? LOL. Love your humor. We could be besties. We are besties. I did reply to her comment, but I also wanted to address this. I get this question a lot. So here's the answer. I do not get demonetized. YouTube actually loves me. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram because this is where I put this extra footage. But YouTube has actually flown me out to their corporate offices twice treated me like a damn rock star. Not only that, they flew me out last year to the Latin Grammys to celebrate with a whole bunch of other amazing YouTubers. So they don't demonetize my videos. A lot of people don't understand what this demonetization means and what it doesn't. You hear worse things on regular television. So me dropping an F-bomb or saying, oh shit, that's not a big deal to them. So to answer your question, no, my videos are not demonetized. Not one in my entire library of videos has ever been demonetized. There's a little inside information for you. I get that question a lot because a lot of people think that YouTube is like wanting some kind of Christian channels on here and there's amazing Christian channels, nothing against those, but people cuss, we're grown ass adults here. If you don't like it, there is a gazillion other channels for you to enjoy. My channel is not for you. What is the item you tested that most surprised you? I'm gonna say the Ninja Foodi because I thought it was a hyped up, oversized air fryer and it was not. You guys, it was everything and some. It was beautiful, well-made, it was expensive now. That was also a reason I was critical of it from the get. It was very pricey, but after I finished filming that video, I was totally in love. So much so that I named it product of the year in 2018. I use it three times a week, sometimes four. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool As Seen On Television product and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!